Hi, my name is Mary Rademile and welcome to Google Developers Live. Today I'm here with Carol Smith, who is the Program Manager for Google Summer of Code, and we're going to talk a little bit about the student application process for the program this year. Hi, Carol. Hi, Mary. Um, so tell us about the eligibility requirements for a GSOC. So at a minimum, a student needs to be at least 18 years old mm -hmm. on April 21st when the program opens. And they need to be either enrolled or accepted into a university, which means that they could be, for example, having accept been accepted into a university for the fall term but not yet attending, um, or they need to be enrolled in a university. They also need to be eligible to work in the country that they're living in for the time mm -hmm. that the program is on. Mm -hmm. Now, will they need to get a visa and organize a place to stay, or where does the program take place? No, it actually takes place all online. That's one of the great things about GSOC is that they get to do all of their coding from home, and they can work with their mentor and their organization all online, and they never have to travel if they don't want to. Great. Um, so why would a student want to participate in Google Summer of Code? Well, what are the benefits? Lots of reasons, actually. Uh, okay. One reason is that it's a great experience to mm -hmm. get to know an open source organization and start working with them and helping them do, sort of do good in the world. Uh, another is that it's a great experience to get uh, put to be able to put on your resume mm -hmm. because you'll have a coding project that you can actually point to and say, this is something that I did if you successfully complete the program. Um, and also, you'll get a stipend of 5,500 US dollars if you successfully complete the whole thing. And that can't hurt. I know. <laughs> um, when do student applications open this year? So they open on March 10th at 1900 UTC, which if you're on the west coast of the US is 12 noon. Great. And they close on March 21st again at 1900 mm -hmm. UTC. And if for someone misses the deadline by a day or two, is there any exception there? No, unfortunately not. Every year we get a few students who ask us to extend the deadline or can they submit a little bit late, and unfortunately mm -hmm. we just can't accommodate it. Okay. What about any like course prerequisites or any um, background information that the students have to have. Is that is there anything there? No, actually. Um, we don't require that the students be majoring in computer science or have any kind of coding background. Um, if there's a student who's thinking that they're, they need to brush up on their coding skills for mm -hmm. their project, I'd re recommend that they reach out to the organization they're thinking about working with and talk to them and say, see if there's anything that they could do to brush up their coding experience before the application's okay. open. Great. And that kind of leads into the next question. Are there any special things that students need to know for the application or should put on their application? To um, it's up to the organization. And so mm -hmm. I would really recommend that they actually, re again, reach out to the organization and talk to them. If it, They should choose the one that they're interested in working with and then talk to them about if they, there's anything special that they should include. Um, most organizations require a program plan and some sort of timeline, but mm -hmm. they'll know more. Okay, great. And last, if a student hasn't gotten all their questions answered here today, where can they go to find more information about the program? Well, they can always go to our general website, which mm -hmm. is google-melange.com. And on the website, there's a pretty extensive FAQs um, that they can see if their question is answered there. Um, if it's not, we also have a general discussion mailing list, so they can uh, ask their specific question on there. And then we're also available on IRC as well. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carol. Thanks, Mary. And thanks to everyone for coming today. This is Google Developers Live, and I'm Mary Rademile. See you soon.